Hey right, everyone, Cody here. So, we got a thunderstorm going on. I wanted to show you guys what this sounds like underground. Okay, here we are. I'm using that phone for the audio and uh, the handheld camera. Okay, I'm gonna walk outside and see if I can video the lightning. So let me try to explain what happened here. So we have the lightning up in the sky. Uh, it might have been cloud to ground. I think it was just cloud to cloud. And the lightning bolt, of course, travels at the speed of light, and that creates a sonic boom. And uh, that's sound waves in the air, you know, kind of like this. They radiate out almost like ripples in a pond. And the speed that the sound waves travel is about 0.34 kilometers per second. And uh, you know, I'm down here, let me draw in the ground, so that the mountain probably looked about like this. Okay, and so here's my mine over here. It goes into this mountain. I have the uh, camera recording sound inside the mine, and I'm up here, standing uh, just above this camera, that's about 30 meters of rock separating me. I'm holding my camera here. And uh, the sound t travels through the air, and after eight seconds from the original flash, we hear the sound over here. So that, that this path, which is pretty direct, takes eight seconds. So that means it's about uh, 2.7 kilometers away, that straight line there. But remember, this camera down here picked up some noise before this one did. In fact, it only took six seconds. And that path must have looked like this. So the sound comes down from the lightning, uh, impacts the ground, and then goes around this valley, and then up, and reaches this. And this only takes six seconds. Um, I, I don't really know how far this is. Uh, this, this problem's uh, quite complex. I'm sure it is possible to figure out. But uh, anyway, the speed that the sound travels through the ground is four kilometers, kilometers per second. So when the sound waves hit the ground and transfer from the air to the rock, they, they bend and they change their path and they start going through like this. You know, it may get squeezed through this valley and come around and impact here. In fact, uh, if I had a seismometer or something, even up near on the surface, I would detect the vibrations from the lightning before I would from the air blast. And in fact, uh, what we're getting down here in the camera is it's pretty much on the rock. I kind of had it sitting on rubble, but it's pretty well coupled. So you get the actual vibration from the rock transferring directly to the phone. It doesn't have a lot of uh, soil and stuff insulating it. Like there's, there's quite a bit of clay and stuff underneath my feet here. So it would insulate the sound quite a bit. But also the vibrations go directly from the uh, rock walls and reverberate and uh, kind of act as a speaker. And the camera's picking that up as well. So this path, even though it's longer, probably quite a bit longer, took less time because of the incredible speed that the sound travels through the rock. Now, uh, in the audio, you could also hear the sound uh, coming back into the mine. So at about the same time, about the eight second mark, you could hear the rumble, uh, which was the same rumble that I was hearing out here. 
it was just a, a lot quieter because it had to go through a small hole and stuff. So yeah, um, definitely need a better microphone for this. Uh, you know, my, my little iPhone here just wasn't cutting it. So I'm going to try this again at some point in the future. You know, maybe I'll even uh, have my own sound source. And maybe find a flatter piece of ground. Because uh, if this was a flat piece of ground, you could actually figure out how high the lightning was off of that. But, you know. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.